Tourism remains an important sector for many African economies. It greatly contributes to the GDPs and employment creations in several countries. According to the World Travel and Tourism Council, in 2017, tourism contributed 10.4% of the world's GDP. It also accounted for 235 million jobs, or one in every 10 jobs worldwide. However, most African countries still face significant challenges and constraints in exploiting the potential of tourism services in trade and economic development. The Zimbabwean government has already cited tourism as one of its key economic drivers after agriculture and mining. The new dispensation recognizes tourism as one of the critical economic drivers. As such, tourism is regarded as, as a, priority in econo uh, a priority economic sector with the potential to stimulate development and economic revival. In this regard, a 15 million tourism support facility has been established through the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe to support emerging and existing tourism businesses. And authorities are making sure that they do not lose out due to unfriendly tourism policies, including restrictive visa regimes and border delays. The upgrading, modernization and expansion of these border posts will go a long way in assisting the country to regain lost market share, especially of the self-drive traffic from South Africa. Noting that South Africa is our biggest market, I challenge the tourism and hospitality industry to increase tourist arrivals from South Africa from about 700, uh, 716,000 in, in 2017 to surpass the over 1.6 million visitors registered in two, uh, 2006 by year 2023. South Africa says tourism can play an important role in job creation. Tourism is, has done very well over the last 10 years. It has its ups and downs, but it's mostly on an upward tra trajectory. At the moment, uh, while the rest of the economy is struggling, tourism continues to grow and outpaces other sectors of our economy by quite a long way. So uh, direct contribution to GDP is approximately 3%. But taking its, its very extensive value chain, and all of the um, connections to the tourism industry, the restaurants, the, the car hire companies, the service providers to guest houses and hotels, etc. Uh, it has a very extensive value chain. So across the value chain, probably about a 9% contribution to GDP. The sector can also contribute in building the economy. As tourism grows between our countries, uh, both the flow of tourists from South Africa to Zimbabwe and from Zimbabwe to South Africa and us jointly attracting tourists from elsewhere in the world, uh, by definition we, we, we both get benefit out of it. Uh, and the benefits in tourism are, are enormous. It's a very employment intensive industry. So as we get growing numbers of tourists, as tourism grows as a sector, jobs follow, opportunities follow. So the, 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 the benefits follow automatically. The Zimbabwe Tourism Expo ends today. 1041.